Number 13. The, no, the member asked the nurse to explain the Patient Self-Determination Act. Which of this statement is accurate regarding the act? I... <laughs> Number one answer, health care institution that accept Medicare and Medicaid monies have the option to inquire about whether a client has advantage, advanced directive. Number two, if a client does not have living will, then the nurse is asked to make a decision on behalf of the client. Number three, a client must be given a written information about their right to have advanced directive according to the law in their state. Number four, two witnesses include the relatives and a physician are needed when a client signs a living will. I'm going to repeat that question. A staff member asks the nurse to explain the patient's self-determination act. Which of the following statement is accurate regarding the act? Number three. Number one, health institution that accept Medicare or Medicaid monies have the option to inquire about whether a client has advanced directive. Number two, if the client not having living will, then the nurse is asked to make decision on the behalf of the client. Number three, a client must be given written information about their right to have advanced directive according to the law in their state. Number four, two witnesses include a relatives and a physician are needed to needed when a client signs a living will. So Albi's answer is number three, which I agree. So, I agree too. Number 13. So the answer is number three. So Albi and Mary are right. Yay! Yay! One part of the Patient Self-Determination Act is to determine to protect the healthcare consumer by requiring all the providers of the Medicare and Medicaid service to provide information about a specific state provision regarding advanced directive. So, Albion are right. Got you. Okay, don't forget to subscribe Bye. and click Pinoy and, and click Steel. We're reporting out. Bye. Bye.